Hello, hello, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for Saturday. But you all know the timing is fluid, right? We always say that because that's the truth. This is just the energy I'm picking up on for somebody I don't know who decided to use this deck today. See what we can get. This is for the energy around Saturday, the what is it, the 23rd? Yeah, around the 23rd. Keep in mind, for me, the daily vibes, sometimes they happen on the day. Sometimes it's like a few days later, so keep that in mind. Sometimes they don't, they aren't even for me. So, that's just the way it is. What do we have for the upcoming energy for somebody? This message is for somebody. I don't know who. These are oracles. They don't be reversed. This is healing your heart from hostilities. No way. This is self-love. Somebody may be protecting themselves because of a previous broken heart, previous hostilities. Ooh, yin-yang. So we have a soulmate connection. I mean, we do. There's some differences, but this is like... Uh, The differences are what complement you, you know. There's a there's a way there's two people that complement each other very well here. They do. They complement each other through their differences, if you know what I'm saying. Ooh, this is your mirror. Makes a lot of sense, okay? This is your mirror. So we have a we definitely have some sort of uh, connection here between two people. Yin and yang. And this is this is a soulmate, okay? Because this is the magician in a mirror. This is the mirror of you, okay? So you, this is this is somebody that is healing from hostilities of the past. I think you probably know who this person is. This is your mirror. If you don't know, this could be somebody that you're coming into contact with. Um, maybe this is somebody that you manifested into your life at this time. I mean, this is an 11, this is an 8, this is an 8. 11's are manifestation, you know. 8's um, are the time is now. Um, it's, a, it's an infinity number, you know. This is a heavenly match, it really is. 2-2, two, two, this, is, this is about a partnership, it's about faith and trust. You need to have faith and trust in the differences that this is, is really the way it's supposed to be so that you guys can help each other in, you know, all ways. And twos can go to a four, which is angelic universal guidance, all is well. So keep in mind, there may be some hostilities, but all is well. I really feel like there is two people coming together that are absolutely meant to be, but there's still some hostilities that are being healed. Now, these hostilities don't doesn't mean that the hostilities are between the both of you. There could be hostilities from the past. There could be something that, that is needing to be healed so that, that you two can come together, whatever that is. Um, community. This is a celebration. It's a, it's a time to celebrate. It's a time to have fun. It's time to be playful. You know, um, a woman holding heart. Yee, four, four. Uh, yee. So, uh, let me get the rest of the cards before we go any further with that. Anxiety, absolutely. That makes sense. Somebody is stuck. They're stuck in the past. They're stuck on what has happened, right? Somebody is trying to protect themselves from uh, giving their heart away. And you see the healing. This is this is self-love. This is the heart chakra. Somebody is 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 thinking about uh, extending their heart or opening their heart or accepting an offer of love, but they're stuck on some past hostilities here. But I think they realize that there is a soulmate connection here, 
and I feel like they're trying to decide as to whether they are ready to close that last chapter or they're ready to close that book and, and head in this new direction or what. Um, one more card. Let your friends help you if you are feeling if you are feeling like you're in a hurry, if you're feeling uh, anxiety over uh, or you're feeling frustrated, perhaps you need to be patient. You do need to be patient, okay? Uh, it takes time. It takes time for... My mind just went blank. There was this quote that popped in my head and then it just went, it went in and went out so fast. <sighs> it's gone too, completely gone, but whatever. It was just like that. Anyhow, um, you need to be patient. The best things come to those who wait. That was the quote. Okay. So I really feel like maybe if you're feeling lonely, if you're feeling hostile, if you're feeling upset because you're, you're not getting what you want, let your friends help you. Lean on your friends during this time to get you through it. Um, we have somebody here that is really, really thinking about their partner. I mean, a lot. Really thinking about their soulmate. Thinking about, you know maybe thinking why aren't they accepting why aren't they accepting my offer why aren't they accepting my love and they're being told to be patient be patient what you are what you are manifesting is is coming okay it is coming we have another 11 so um we have a, definitely have a soulmate connection with these two 11s we do i feel like there's divine timing here and you need you need to be patient and wait for the right time to come together with this person um, right now there's a, there's a, there's a lot going on and somebody is in the process of making a decision as to what path they want to take. Somebody's in the process of restoring balance and harmony in their life. They're reevaluating, you know, where they've been and where they're going. So you need to be patient and let this person heal. This is a card of healing and this is a card of healing. So... You know, whatever is happening, it is, it, it's happening for a reason. You need to trust. You need to have faith. I really feel as though there is angelic guidance here. There is. I feel like there's a little bit of conflict right now. I think this conflict is coming from within. I feel like somebody is, is feeling trapped in their own thoughts. They're feeling trapped in their old um, pain, okay? So I really feel like we these the there's there's divine guidance in the form of angels that are bringing two people together. Um, we have a love connection here that is meant to be, but like I said, the best things come to those who wait. If you think about that quote, it's like what is it from the Corinthians? Love is patient. Love is kind. Be patient. Be patient. It you know you can't push. Don't push. I feel as though. We have somebody that is is thinking about giving up, and I'm here to tell you, don't give up. Don't give up, because whoever it is that you're dealing with needs you to have faith in them. They need you to give them time. They need you to be patient with them as they are healing their heart. So we have somebody here that is healing. They see your big heart. They see that you have a lot to offer. And they probably recognize the soulmate connection. It's very evident, okay? It's very evident that this is a perfect match. It absolutely is evident. And I feel like um, perhaps right now you just need to wait for the right time. You need to wait for divine timing. You need to be patient. Seriously. Somebody needs to be patient. What they have been waiting for is coming. It's coming. But all in good time, all in good time. Let me make sure this is focused in. It is pretty good, isn't it? Um, I 
somebody's trying to protect themselves because they've been so hurt in the past. So give them time. Give them time. Give them time. Okay? Um, somebody is about to embark on a new journey that leads to happiness but you have to give people the space and the time that they need to heal because this is healing the very first card is is healing that's healing self love self self you know healing of your heart so that it can be readily available, so that it can be available to, you know, extend out to others. So I feel like somebody is needing to take that time to heal and get unstuck from the past hostilities before they can unite with this perfect match, okay? So that's a pretty clear message right there. Um... I think that there's some some chapters that are being closed in somebody's life and it takes it takes time to to uh, start over your prayers have been heard they have Engagement, your love life is ascending to a higher level level of commitment. It is. It is. But it starts from within. So whoever it is that you are getting frustrated with, recognize that they are healing so that they can be emotionally available for you. Or maybe that's you. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. You know, it looks to me like somebody is not telling the truth about a situation. They're not telling the truth. Maybe they're not telling the truth as to why they're stuck. Maybe they're not telling, expressing, you know, why they're not coming forward. Maybe they're still hostile over the, over the past and they're just not telling you that. Who knows? Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. And that makes a lot of sense. This person is not your usual type. They're not. They're not. They don't look like your usual type. They don't act like your usual type. But they compliment you very, very, very well. And you're being called to give it a chance. Give it a chance. Give it a chance to manifest. Give it a chance to come to fruition. Give it time. Be patient. Be patient. Um, there's definitely a possibility of coming together with a soulmate that you did not expect. Because this person is so different. This person is different. Maybe, maybe, maybe it starts out with as friendship. You know, maybe you start out as being friends and take it slow. So I, I really feel like we have a divine connection here that is being brought together from above. Two people are being brought together from above, in which, you know, there's a lot, there's a little bit of frustration because it's not moving full speed ahead. It's safe for you to love, open your heart to give, and receive the highest energy of all. And like I said, somebody's trying to protect themselves. So I feel like somebody is getting ready to come together. They're getting ready to um, step off that fence. They're getting ready to give it a chance. They're getting ready to open their heart.
but you can't push them. It's funny. I said, you know, let your friends help you if you're getting frustrated. Let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others, you know? Don't ruin a good thing because you're in a hurry. Anyway, I feel as though somebody is needing to be patient, think positive, give it time, open your heart. And believe and have trust and have faith because we have a connection here that is meant to be we do we do I mean this is a a real soulmate connection where you complement each other like never before right you do it's your perfect 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 match there's differences yes but those differences are, you know, are what you need to, to grow, what you need to help you, you know. You complement each other. This is like the divine masculine and the divine feminine coming together. So yeah, that's what I have. That's what I have for Saturday. I feel like patience patience is is where it's at. Be patient. Be patient. Trust, have faith, believe, give it a chance, give it time. Give it time. During this time of waiting, whatever it is, lean on your friends. Good luck.